Hello all. Welcome to part 17 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate the difference between the let and where keywords in JavaScript. So what are these let and where keywords? So far, that is still session 16, we were using where keyword for declaring the variables, right? For declaring the variables, we were using the where keyword only in JavaScript, right? For example, if I have to uh, create a variable, I, I will create like this, where i is equal to one. Okay, here we are declaring this variable name with the where keyword. That's what we are doing. So there is one more keyword, guys, for declaring the variables. That is nothing but the let keyword. Okay, we can also use in place of the where keyword, we can also use the let keyword for also declaring the variable. Okay, we can say let i is equal to one also, but what is the difference? Okay, what is the difference between this where keyword and the let keyword? What will happen if you declare a variable uh, with the where keyword? What will happen if you declare the same variable with the let keyword? What is the difference? Let me explain in this session, guys. At a high level, guys, where keyword means function scope. Okay, the scope of this variable is up to the function level. Whereas the variable which is declared with the let keyword will have the scope up to the block scope. Okay, will have the scope of the variable will be you can access this variable up to the block block level but you can access this variable which is declared with where keyword up to the function scope okay function level so let me practically demonstrate uh, what is function scope and block scope and how the where is related to this function scope and how the let keyword is related to the block scope let me practically demonstrate now for that i'll open this visual studio code id and here i'll create a sample javascript file say demo dot yes now here i'll create a function guys okay function f1 like this i'll create a function inside this function i'll create a for loop okay for i'll use the where keyword for declaring the variable inside the for loop say where i is equal to one okay where i is equal to one i less than okay i less than five i plus plus like this i created a for loop okay and here inside the for loop i'll print out the value of i okay so console dot log of i i'll say okay inside the for loop i'll write this console dot log of i so in each and every iteration of the for loop it will print the value of the i so initially the value of i will be one guys okay then one is less than five is two we'll go inside the for loop and one will be printed after that i will be incremented to two two less than five is still two two will be printed then three three less than five is two three will be printed four four less than five is two four will be printed and finally i becomes five Five less than five is false, so we'll come out of the for loop. So one two four will be printed. One two three four will be printed because of this for loop. But in order for this particular code to be executed, I have to call the function, guys. So I'll be calling the function here, f1. Okay, without calling this function, this code will not be executed. Now let's go to the terminal and select new terminal. Here, I will run this JavaScript code, guys. Using node.js, I'm going to run the JavaScript code. I'll say clear and say node demo dot js. Okay, you see the this particular function calling statement has called this function and the for loop inside the function got executed and we got one two three four that's fine now guys what if outside the for loop outside the for loop can i access this variable i okay this variable i is declared in this for loop right this variable i is declared using the where keyword in this for loop but can i access the value of this variable i outside the for loop that's what i'm checking okay is it possible or not Okay, this statement will be printing the value of i or not the answer is yes guys because the scope of the variable i which is declared using the where keyword is at the function scope that means throughout the function the where declared variable can be accessed okay not just a for loop this is a block guys okay for loop is a block this is a block but the scope of the variable i which is declared with where keyword will be up to the function level so this statement is going to work okay so what's going to happen is this for loop will print one, two, three, four. And uh, finally, I became five. When I became five, this condition was false. So we came out of the for loop. But when you try to print the I guys, here I is already five. So five will be printed, okay? So I'll clear this. You see, you'll get one, two, three, four, five this time. Note demo dot, yes. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are able to access the variable I, which is declared with the where keyword outside a block that is inside the function, okay? So because the scope of the variable I is up at the function scope okay it's a function scope guys, because it declared with where keyword now guys what if i change this okay what if i change this to this where to let now what will happen now the scope of the variable will change guys okay 
So because it is uh, declared with the let keyword, the scope of the variable i will become block level. That means only inside the for loop you can use the variable i. Okay, only in this for loop you can use the variable i because the scope is limited to the block level, not the function level. But this statement, what will happen with this statement? You are still trying to access the variable i here, which is declared with the let keyword. This will give an error, guys. Okay. This is not possible because the scope of the variable i, which is declared with the let keyword, is a block level that is up to the for loop only. You cannot access it anymore. So now I'll just say clear, guys. I'll say clear and uh, I'll just say node demo dot yes. You see, this time after printing one, two, three, four, it's not printing five here. The reason here is the variable is declared with let keyword and scope is limited to the block, block, block level, block scope. Okay. So here at the line nine, at the line nine, you already got an error saying, this console dot log of i is not possible because i is of which uh, type let type okay you cannot access outside the for loop hope guys you got a high level difference how the where is a function scope and a let is block scope now okay the small difference let me give one more example guys okay let me give one more example here uh, i will say something uh, let's say i'll say if okay if inside the for loop i'm writing this if let okay if uh, what we can say if uh, or i'll just do one more thing so i'll remove all this uh, for loop and all those stuff and i'll write here so here i'll say if okay if if true or something i'll just directly say true guys okay or if i greater than three or whatever it is okay if i greater than three let's say if i is greater than three then i'm just creating a variable guys let a is equal to okay let a is equal to nine okay let a is equal to nine i am saying this okay so now guys i am declaring this variable a with which keyword let keyword so what is the scope now what is the scope of this variable a inside it's a block scope that means up to the if statement itself okay not behind the if statement the scope of this variable a is since it is declared with the let keyword the scope of this variable a is up to the if statement only okay up to the if statement only you cannot access it uh, in at the function level for example if i try to print out the variable a like this console.log of a here this will give me an error okay and i'll be calling this function and the function is called and inside the we'll go inside the function because this condition is always true by greater than three is always true so i'll go inside and here the variable will be created but once we come out of the if, if statement you see when you try to print the variable a this will not be printed because the scope of the variable a is a block scope because it is declared with the let keyword so this will give an error guys let's see this will give an error here and uh, here node demo dot js you see already got an error because okay you already got an error because this is the thing guys okay this is the thing because of this okay at the line nine you are not able to access the variable a that's why we got the error Okay, that's why we got the error. Fine, guys. What if I make this where? Okay. Now the scope of the variable a is changed to the function level scope. Okay. Function scope. That means so behind this if uh, if block we can access the variable a. That means outside the if block also we can access the variable a. So nine should be printed now, guys. Not demo dot js. You see nine got printed. So hope guys you understood the exact difference between the where and let keyword. Where is function scope, whereas let is block scope. Okay. That's the first difference. And second thing, guys. Second thing, okay. There's one drawback with the where case. Okay. There's one drawback with the where. What is the drawback? Let me explain. For that, guys, first of all, I need to create an HTML file. I'll just delete this uh, JavaScript file and I'll create a HTML file. I'll say demo.html. Okay. Here inside the HTML file, I'll write some sample HTML code. HTML head. Okay. Here I'll say body. Okay. So in the head, I'll create a title tag as usual okay so i'll say uh, where versus okay where where demo okay where demo or something so uh, in the body what i will do in the body i will do nothing in the body guys so here i'll create some javascript i'll how to write the javascript inside the html files we have to provide the script tags as you already know inside the script tags okay inside the script tags i'll create a variable guys okay i'll create a variable say where color is equal to red i'll say okay just understand this guys okay to understand the drawback of the where keyword okay there is some drawback with the where keyword okay 
there's some drawback with the var keyword what is the drawback i am trying to explain here so i am trying to explain the drawback of the var keyword when you when you declare a particular variable with the var keyword and uh, assign it some value what is happening here is what's happening here is this particular color is attached to the dom okay this particular color is attached to the window object in the dom what does it mean okay window in the dom what does it mean if i run this code guys open with the live server if i run this code you see i am getting a blank page just inspect here guys inspect here right click inspect on this blank page and select the console now here guys you already know there is something known as dom right uh, document object model okay we were using the document for uh, representing the entire web page there is on the top of the document guys there is something known as window okay the complete window this complete uh, window okay inside the window we have the document file like that okay so there is a on the top top level element is uh, in the dom is window guys okay so when you declare a particular variable with the var keyword it is attaching this particular variable to the window guys okay that's a problem okay it's attaching the variable to the window that means if i say window dot color press enter whatever the variable you created here it's coming here you see the window is getting attached with this color that's a problem guys okay so what if i change this to blue okay you can see that in action now now again i will say window again say color press enter you see this time blue is color blue color is coming that means the color which is created inside this javascript file or javascript code is getting attached to the dom window of the dom what is the problem what is the problem if you attach uh, this kind of uh, variables to the window let's say there is a predefined uh, assume that okay assume that there is a predefined uh, attribute known as color for this window already okay but if you are creating such kind of uh, variables with the same names like color and all okay let's say color is a predefined one uh, even though you don't create here in the javascript color is there in the window let's say in the dom color is there let's assume okay color has window has lot of properties guys if you press enter here you see there are lot of properties in window you see alert is there a uh, lot of things are there in the window right fetch find history name navigator on blur okay all the different properties are there all the different properties are there there is a possibility that this particular user defined uh, variables okay user defined variables can replace the predefined variables that's a problem okay this will cause the problems or not you will not be able to use the user uh, predefined variables anymore if you run this kind of javascript code then it will not be possible for us to access the predefined variables of the window window is already coming with a lot of predefined stuff but if you are uh, if you unexpectedly or unknowingly if you create a variable uh, which is already kind of predefined with the window then this user defined thing is going to replace that predefined thing in the window guys that's going to be a problem that will make the things messy that's a major disadvantage of the war guys so that's why guys lot of the javascript programmers won't use war for declaring the variables okay they won't use war for declaring the variables because var attaches the variables to the dom window okay hence it is not recommended to use guys so everyone uses everyone all the javascript programmers whenever you see search for some javascript programs online and all right they will not be using var guys instead they will be using let okay even though the let is block scope still they will be using the let guys uh, let will not attach the variables to the dom and at same time let is block scope which is what is required in the programming okay so going ahead guys going ahead because of the drawback of the var we are not going to continue with the var keyword for declaring the variables we are going to use let keyword for declaring the variables going ahead guys nowhere we are going to use var okay all the places we are going to use let from the coming sessions onwards so hope guys you understood uh, what is exact difference between the var and let keyword var is function scoped and let is block scoped and at same time var has a disadvantage okay has a disadvantage or drawback we have why uh, we understood now why we have to use let over the word okay and why all the programmers around the globe uh, who are programming using javascript are using let over the word so all these things i have explained in this session so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye